sure you can eat all that? I'm sure. We're proud to be part of your life. Mom just bought me my first pantyhose. We're proud to be part of your life. There's a food store working to bring you the best at a price that fits your budget. Safeway. We're proud to be part of your life. Working hard to give you more. And we're proud you paid Safeway. America's favorite food store. The Howling, Saturday night at 9. Here are our champions. They're three of a kind. Hi, I'm Christine Dumas. I'm Bill McGlashan. And I'm Donna Vincent. And we're Dennis. And they're here to play Hot Potato. And here to toss the hot potato, our host, Bill Cullen. Hey, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, and welcome back to Hot Potato. We are pleased you could be with us. We are also pleased our champions can be with us. Boy, have they done a job. Ladies and gentlemen, they are up here now at our bonus game for the fourth time. And so far, Chris and Bill and Donna have won a total of $19,000. Congratulations. Well, now it's time for another bonus game, and the subject of today's bonus is real names. I'm going to give you uh, and the name of a famous person and then show you two names, and each time you will have to tell me which was his or her original name. Each time you're correct, you earn $500. You may quit whenever you want, but if you can answer five questions correctly, you'll win your jackpot, which is $5,000. As you know, Donna, you're the captain. You may pass the question, but you can only use one pass per bonus game. And boy, last time you were up here, you used that pass perfectly. That's what, you, that's what it's for. So, you all ready to go? Yes. Wish you luck. You have 19,000, going to make it 24. And here comes your first one. I will name a famous person and you tell me which was his or her original name. The famous person, Cary Grant, was Cary Archibald Leach or Ira Grossel. Talk it over and tell me whether you want to play or pass. I think Archibald Leach. So, so okay. Yeah. You seem pretty confident. What, what, are you going to go, Donna? We're going to play. Let me have the answer. We're going to say Archibald Leach. That is right. You have $500. You can take the $500 and quit, or you can go on. What do you want to do? Okay, we're going to play. Okay. We're going now, going now for $1,000 or nothing. Here's the question. I'm going to name a famous person, and you tell me which was his or her original name. Talking about this time, Marilyn Monroe. Was her name Donna T. Jaden or Norma Mortensen? Talk it over, and tell me whether you want to play or pass. What do you say, Donna? It is Norma Morrison. N Norma Mortensen is correct. You have $1,000. Okay. We have $1,000. You want to go for $1,500? Okay. 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 We're going to play. Okay. Our dentists, our dentists have come up with a what-the-heck attitude. They have $19,000, and they're going on. And I don't blame you. You're now going for $1,500 or nothing. The famous person is John Wayne was his original name Marion Morrison or Walker Smith. Talk it over and tell me. I know me this one's Marion Morrison. Morrison. I do too. Oh, Marion. Marion. Oh, they are so confident. Play or pass? We're going to play. Name. Um, his name is Marion Morrison. It was indeed, and you have $1,500. Okay. What do you want to do? You can't stop Go on. on. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> They're going, what'd you say, Bill? Can't stop on an odd number. No, you don't stop on an odd number. That's Bill's advice to the team. So you are going on, Donna. Good luck. The famous person is Stevie Wonder. His original name, was it Steveland Morris or Stevie Wonder? Now, you may pass if you have doubts. I have no idea. Do you think Either do I. Either do I. <laughs> well, I think this is a trick question. Um, we're going to pass. You are going to pass. What would you have said? I probably would have said Stevie Wonder. You know, it's a good pass again. Good. It was okay. Stephen Morris, so that was an excellent pass. You've used up your pass, but you used it at the right spot. You now have to go for this next one, $2,000 or nothing. The famous person is Red Fox. His real name, was it Fred Haley or John Sanford? Yeah. Talk I it know. over. Do you know this one? Yeah. Well, well, they all seem I, mean, I think it's Fred Haley. So do I. Do you? Yeah, I yeah think me it's too. Fred Haley. Okay. Okay, now this answer you're going for. $2,000 or nothing. Was it Fred Haley or John Sanford? Well, I think it's Fred Haley. No, it's John Sanford. Oh. 
And for the first time that you've been here, you haven't won the bonus game. But I do have some good news for you. You still have 19,000. And if you can defeat another team, when you come back, we're going to add 5,000 to the, do the jackpot. Next time, if you get up here, you'll be playing for $10,000. We'll be back here in just a moment. Right now, I got a word of interest for you. Combination skin? What do I use? A dry skin lotion for my cheeks, a cleanser for my oily nose, an antiseptic, or all three? Get Cuticura instead. It's the Wonder Bar that works wonders on combination skin. Inside each Cuticura bar, rich emollients to help soften dry patches, cleansers to lift out excess oil, and a bacteria fighter for all over skin protection. I've never seen your skin so soft and beautiful. Cuticura, the Wonder Bar, works wonders on combination skin. I told Grandpa we forgot dessert. Terrific. And he just loves jello gelatin and fruit. <laughs> Make your jello gelatin. Create a sensation. Grapefruit desserts are easy, like this one with fresh oranges and any two flavors of jello brand gelatin. Delicious. Well, I knew what you were up to all along. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> Make your jello gelatin. Create a sensation. Jiggy LMO. Okay, we're back here at Hot Potato, where our dentist, for the first time, been up to that bonus board. You thought it was a trick question, did you, Donna? <laughs> we actually don't use trick questions by and large. I say sometimes by the very nature of them, they turn out to be tricky, but mm -hmm. not tricky in that sense of the word. So you have $19,000, and you play until somebody beats you, and we have some opponents for you. Let us all get ready to meet your opponents. Hi, I'm Mike Brown. I'm Jim Gibson. I'm Quinn Collins. And we're Little League, League coaches. coaches. Welcome, fellas. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Hi, Bill. How you doing? Well, I'm doing very well. Good. Welcome to... Where, where, do you, where do you do your coaching? Well, we originally coached uh, last year in Northern California, mm -hmm. and we went to school together, and uh, we moved down to Newport Beach this year, and we coached down in Newport Beach. All coaching the same team? Right. Or you all, yeah. All, all coaching. coaching. What's the name of the team? Might as well, uh, well, right now we don't have a team. The team we coached... Uh, well, we don't have a name. We have a team without a name, but they're the Dodgers. The Dodgers? Yeah. Not Which is Dodgers. typical for L.A., you know. Yeah, every, everything's the Dodgers <laughs> right. in L.A. I, I don't bleed Dodger blue. But no. <laughs> they're cute kids. Well, if you do, you'll be right, you'll be right there as manager, I'll right. tell you. <laughs> we welcome you, Mike and Jake Quinn. I like the name Quinn. Quinn Collins? Yes, it is. That's a good name. See, my name's Colin. My mother could name me Quinn. Quinn Collins. Yeah, hey, that's, that's been great. That's cute, huh? <laughs> okay, I'll talk to her about that. <laughs> that chance. Okay, now these two teams are going to play a series of rounds. Each round consists of a question that has a number of answers to it. What's different about our game? A team can win a round two ways by coming up with a seventh answer or by eliminating, knocking out all three members of the opposing team. That's the way they do it. You challenge them, make them do a wrong guess. Two out of three rounds wins the game. Dennis in control. Everybody listen to the question, because it'll get to all of you most likely. What habits do people find hardest to break? Now, we have the seven habits most mentioned when people across the country were asked, what one habit do you find it hardest to break? Okay, we begin with the dentist. And Chris, as usual, you're, you start. Do you want to answer a challenge? I'm going to answer. Well, okay, give me a habit. How about biting your fingernails? Biting fingernails, correct. We have a right answer on the board. <laughs> Fellas, I want to tell you, these dentist opponents of yours are pretty good. So if, if you get the ball, <laughs> run with it. That's just a bit of a tip. What do you say, Bill? I think I'll play. All right, Bill. How about smoking? Smoking is certainly one of them. It is the number one. <laughs> number one habit that most people would like to break. So we have two right answers, Donna. Captain Deer. <laughs> what do you want to do? I'm going to play. All right. How about eating too much? Eating too much. Overeating. Correct. You have another right answer. <laughs> three tries and three correct answers. Chris, you want to come up with one, or would you like to challenge one of our Little League coaches? that I'll play. All right, let's have it. How about it. drinking? Drinking is another one we have four right now. Let me, let me remind you, you have answered four straight. As you know, if you answer all seven straight without uh, giving up control, you win the round plus the jackpot, the seven straight jackpot, which now is at $5,500. Oh. Bill will be with you in a moment. First, I remind you, already given our biting nails, smoking, overeating, and drinking. Do you want to answer, or do you want to challenge one of the coaches? I think, 
not too sure. I think Quinn would. Okay, you want to toss the hot I'll potato over there? Okay, well, if you're okay. having trouble, they get a little tough after you get in. Well, Quinn Collins, old boy, it's up to you to stay in the game. You have to give me an answer. Okay, I'll say gambling. Gambling okay. is wrong, I'm sorry to say. Oh. Quinn, if you'll go sit on the bench, control stays with our, uh, with our uh, Dennis. And Donna, you are up. What do you want to do? Um, that was a good challenge, Bill. I think I'll challenge. No challenge. Okay, we have... Uh, who do we have over there? We have Mike and Jim. I, th I think I'm going to challenge Mike. Mike, it's up to you. <laughs> Unless you answer this, Jim's going to be all by himself. Wow, we What's don't want answer? that to happen. Um, I'm going to have to say lying. Lying is wrong, Mike. Go sit with Quinn, if you will. Well, look where you are, Chris. We have four right answers on the board, but more importantly, you only have one opponent left. What do you want to do, Chris? I think, I'm gonna, I think he wants to play. I'm going to challenge Jim. Jim, this is for the round. If you miss this one, the round goes to the dentist, who already have 19000 bucks. Good luck, Jim. How about uh, maybe uh, twiddling with your fingers? Playing with your twiddling fingers. with your fingers is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and the dentist wins right around. Come on back here. Okay, twiddling with your fingers is pretty good, but you know the other ones were uh, eating sweets, eating sweets, procrastination, putting things off, which is the thief of time. Somebody said that. I think it was my uncle Elmer. <laughs> and either swearing or profanity, they're mostly one and the same things, depending, of course, on how you look at it. Round one for the dentist. We'll be back here in just a moment. Right now, we're going to pause today. <laughs> Even my chips are flat. How about Ruffles potato chips? Ruffles have that extra something more taste. That's what it is. Ruffles have that extra something more taste. Reach after reach. Those famous ridges, they're like flavor curves that give Ruffles brand potato chips extra taste. These taste better. And Ruffles are ridges above the rest. What kind of day is your hair having? Will it need a light shampoo or a really deep cleaning? Sometimes you need a little finesse. Sometimes you need a lot. Finesse shampoo is specially formulated to clean deeply on the days you need it. Gently on the days you don't. Without drying, without overcleaning. Sometimes you need a little finesse. Sometimes you need a lot. This woman has an irritating rash that's inflamed, itchy, and needs special treatment. She's using maximum strength Cortisone 5 because rashes like this go deep below the skin's surface. But Cortisone 5 gets under the itch for soothing relief and help in healing. Itchy rashes disappear. Cortisone 5 relieves both itching and irritating rashes. Try maximum strength Cortisone 5. It gets under the itch for soothing relief and help in healing. His Royal Highness, the Prince. Standing on receiving lines takes its toll and it takes time. Gentlemen, the fire But you could take a different view because you might need a prince or two. Gentlemen, the fire Walking, running, standing on your feet for hours, we're Haynes Alive, the beautiful sheer support. And when that prince is someone who really wants to be with you. Gentlemen prefer Haynes in eye-catching fashion colors, too. That the habit that most people would like to break, it was a, turned out to be a more difficult question once we got... I'm surprised, though, that the eating sweets was up there, and none of our <laughs> dentists thought of it. I didn't think of it either, but I thought, sure, you people would. Well, listen, don't let me, don't let me wrap it, because you're leading this game one round to nothing. And gentlemen, Little League coaches, let's see how well you do. We're going to begin with you, but first I'll pose the question loudly so everybody can hear it. Are you ready to play a word game? Because that's what we're going to do. Now, take the word make. M-A-K-E, make, and replace the letter K with another letter. Now, when you do that, you can make seven new words, which can be found in Webster's Unabridged Dictionary. Now, can you name all seven? For each new word, please give us the letter you replaced the K with. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to begin with uh, Mike. So, Mike, anytime you're ready to start. I'll play it all, and I'll say mate with a T. Mate with a T is correct, and we have one right answer on the board. That's the way to do it. 
Okay, now let's see how far you can run with it. Jim, the, the word is make, M-A-K-E. What do you want to do? I'll say male, as in male person. M-A-L-E is correct. We have two right. Right, yeah. <laughs> Quinn, we're, we're down to you. What do you want to do with it? I'll say mace. M-A-C-E. C-E, correct. And there's three right. right. Yeah. Okay, you guys are hot now. I'll back, play, Bill. back. Okay, Mike. Mike's and I'll play. say uh, maze with a Z. M A Z E is another right answer. So far, so far, gentlemen, we've had mate, male, mace, and maze. Make is the starting word, so naturally we don't want that one. And now you have uh, four right answers. Give me three more, and you win the seven straight jackpot, which is at five thousand five hundred. Just reminded you of that, yeah. Jim. That's how about uh. R for mayor. M A R E. Mayor is right. We have another right answer. Quinn. Could you repeat those? The ones, I, the ones that have already. Right. All right, let's start with mayor, the most recently given. Work upward. Maze, M A Z E. Mace, M A C E. Male, M A L E. And mate, M A T E. Answer or challenge, Quinn? Let's see. How about maid? M, -M A D E. Correct. We have six. <laughs> Well, man, man, this is pretty exciting. Give me one more right answer. If you choose to answer, you win not only the round, but our seven straight jackpot, which is now at 5,500 bucks. Mike, it's on you. I think we're going to go for it, Bill, and I'm going to say Maine with an N. M-A-N-E, you're right. You won the jackpot. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. 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 Well, uh, not only did you win the round and tie our game up, but you picked up 5,000. You didn't know that, Jim. Yes. He can pay rent now. <laughs> Jim just picked up his rent money, 5,500 or so. We have two real good teams, one with 19,000, one with 5,500. And all this money floating around, and the network doesn't have any. We'll go out and get some and be back right after this. When I've got a splitting headache, I want what works. And Extra Strength Datril has been working for me every bit as well as Extra Strength Tylenol since I switched. And now I know why. Datril and Tylenol have the exact same aspirin-free pain reliever and strength. Exactly the same. I know because I asked my doctor about Datril. Yet Extra Strength Tylenol can cost so much more. So I'm staying with Datril. Why would I pay that much more for the same relief? Why would anybody? It's 8 a.m. Susan Lloyd starts cooking sausage for breakfast. At the same time, Pam Walter starts her sausage. The brown and serves ready. But mm. wait, be patient. The Walters are enjoying Swift Premium Brown and Serve sausage. Pre-cooked, just five minutes from sizzle to serve. Juicy and delicious, real meaty sausage. Ah. Mm. So, when you want great tasting sausage, why wait? Have Swift Premium Brown and Serve. Great taste, without the wait. I'm one woman with two bra sizes. Each side's a little different. You too? That's why Playtex invented an amazing solution, the Nobody's Perfect Bra. It adjusts to each side all the time. The special frame stretches where and when you need more, lies flat where and when you need less, yet each cup stays firm for support. Perfect fit, even if each side of you is a little different. Nobody's Perfect from Playtex. And now try the new Nobody's Perfect Girdle and get $4 back. You are the loyal one. I'm dandy. Always first to say hello. You cheer me up when I'm feeling low, but you get so finicky when it comes to feeding time. That's why it's meal time from now on, my finicky friend. New improved mealtime dry dog food. It's double basted for an even richer, meatier taste. It's meal time for you, my finicky friend. New improved meal time. Even finicky eaters love the meatier taste. Talking about schools with particularly good dental schools, and USC is certainly one. And yes. my school, University of Pittsburgh, had Excellent. a very fine dental. What's some of the other good dental schools? Well, uh, University of Penn. Penn. Penn is also very good. I've heard that. And also a little bit of information about these fellows. I found out they all went to the same school. Where'd you go? Oh, we went to Chico State. Chico State, and you all party school. Yeah. <laughs> party school. Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, you guys look like you're, you're the oh, guys. We were all in the same fraternity. That's how we met. What was the fraternity? Uh, Phi Kappa Tau. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got a, we got the dentist and we got the three party men over here. <laughs> That's right. Okay, it's all tied up. One round apiece. This round will be for the game. So everybody, listen to the question. Old Uncle Bill's going to read it for you. 
we're looking for seven of the thirteen vice presidents who have gone on to become president of the united states and that's a toughie because history is not everybody's best subject but seven of the thirteen vice presidents who have gone on to become president of the united states dennis are back in control as usual when your team is in control chris we begin with you answer or challenge i will answer and i'll say gerald ford gerald ford is certainly one and we have one right answer on board. All right, Bill, uh, your choice. Answer, challenge. Answer, um, Johnson. Johnson, a, more, a little more specific information. Lyndon B. Lyndon B. Johnson, correct. <laughs> sure you understand why I asked that. Two right answers on the board. Three big whole entire opponents over there, Donna. What would you like to do? Well, hmm, I'm going to have to challenge. You may. If you're not sure of an answer, challenge. I'm there they are. Got Quinn and Jim and Mike. Whom do you challenge? I challenge Mike. Mike, it's up to you. Uh, you okay. have to answer. Sure. To I'll stay say in the uh, game. Nixon. Nixon is correct. We have three right answers on the board. Coaches have gained control. And, oh, goodbye, Donna. I, I turned around to dismiss you, and you're gone. <laughs> you ran like you were expecting the check. <laughs> well, congratulations, man. You're in control. We have a tie game here, one round apiece. We have three right answers on the board. Two opponents over there, Jim. What would you like to do? Uh, Mondale. Mondale. Incorrect. Jim. Go sit on the bench. Go sit on the bench before... Go sit on the bench, buddy, before your two teammates do you bodily harm. Okay, now, uh, you've eliminated one over there. Chris, we're back to you. Three right answers, two opponents. I think I'd like to challenge. If you want... I think Quinn likes to play. Sure. Quinn, there's a challenge. Okay, now, once again, seven of the 13 vice presidents who have gone on to become president of the United States. Can you read Quinn. the ones that you've listed? Can we read the ones that have uh, already been listed? I Indeed, I can. Gerald Ford, Lyndon B. Johnson, and Richard Nixon. Okay, I'd like to say Andrew Johnson. Andrew Johnson is correct. Well done, Quinn. Two challenges, Chris. So there goes Chris to sit with Donna now. And Bill, you're all by yourself over here. Mm -hmm. We have a tie, tie game at this point, and it's the first time anyone got this close to knocking you guys out. Okay, now, Mike, you are up. You have one opponent left. Wow. Yeah, we have four right answers. This is for the round and the game, assuming you scored this point. Right. Um, well, Bill, I think I'm going to see if you know the answer. You're going to pass it over That's to Bill. So uh -huh. this can be for the round and the game now, Bill. If you answer correctly, you stay in. If you answer incorrectly, it's the round and the game to our Little League coaches.